What you see here is everything you're going to need to complete step one of the assembly process for the Halloween Skulls 3-axis skull. First of all, you have the rod end here that is in your parts list. Uh, you have your 1 quarter 28 threaded nut. It's a lock nut with a nylon insert in the back, which uh, prevents it from, uh, over time, the vibrations unscrewing itself. And you're going to need your 7 16 wrench. And here is the stubby version of the 7 16 wrench. And it has to be able to fit inside the skull, which is why I require the stubby version. If you don't have a stubby one and you don't want to buy it, but you happen to have another 7 16 wrench laying around, you can always do this. I took a 7 16 wrench and just cut it. Uh, so I've got the round part here and that will also fit inside the skull quite nicely. So uh, you can use either one of those that, uh, that you'd like. Okay, now let's get into the production part here. We're going to take the back of the skull and if you look at it you'll see this section right here that looks uh, about the right size and shape to hold the rod end in and place it in the center of the skull. That's exactly what you're going to do. You're going to set the rod end in from the inside. If you try and go in the bottom, you'll, it won't go in. Set it from the top, inside, and set it, line it right up there. And what I usually do now is, I don't know if, how well you can see what it looks like on the back end. You can just about see the back end sticking out there. I retract it a little bit so that the back isn't out yet. That makes it easier for me to put in place the, ni uh, the nylon insert lock nut. And that's, it's a little tight in there, and you probably won't be able to see this very well with my hands in the way. But I take that nut and hold it flat, let's see, can you see this, over the space where the uh, rod end will stick out. Then I push the rod end out until it connects. Okay, there. Now it's threaded on. I just started it. And uh, that, that'll be in there nice. It's awkward to get into that space, so that works well. If you have really small fingers, maybe you can, you can spin that nut on there. Uh, another way, but that's that's the best way that I found to do it right away. You also want to be careful for this very uh, uh, fragile tab here. Um, you don't want to be holding your skull in a way that you accidentally snap that off. That's going to hold in the jaw servo, and that's an important part. So be careful of that. Now what I want you to do is take this, and you're going to align it so that it fits into those two slots that are kind of on a diagonal in the back. Let's see if I can get a close-up of that. Um, See this, the way the slots are. Push it in until it's tight. Most of the time you hear a little click when it goes in. These two slots on, the, on either side prevent this from ever turning and changing position, even if the nut gets loose on the back. And that keeps your settings for your servos correct all the time. Now we're going to tighten up the nut on the back by, by hand, all the way up as far as it goes, which is probably going to be up until it hits the nylon washer. Now you're going to take your stubby wrench and get it in there and you are tightening it from back to front. So you want to slide it. I use, I use the rounded end. You could use the other end as long as it's still a 7 16th. On this one it isn't. This one's a 3 8 on that side and a 7 16 on this side. But whatever you're more comfortable with. I fit the round piece on and I turn it from back to front to tighten it. And you want to turn it all the way until it can't go anymore and that nylon washer is fully engaged and holding it tight and making sure that it's not going to vibrate its way off over time. Okay, now I'm going to show you something else that uh, we need to be careful of. Here's an older one that we, that we tried before. And if you suck down that nut a little bit too tight, this is what you're going to end up with on the inside. You can see right there that this piece is split. Uh, so you want to be careful. You want to tighten the nut down tight, but you don't want to force it. Uh, if you go, if you over tighten it, it will split. It will split that piece. It'll suck this in too far and spread these teeth out here and, and split that. So you want to be careful not to do that. Should look like this. There it is. Should look like that. And there's a nut on the back. It's fitted nicely in there and uh, it's sucked in right into the slots. So that's, that's the look you're looking for right there. Okay.
Step two is next.